everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. And I just asked Jim, what shall I talk about today? Well, last night, my dog did not want to settle down. He likes to scratch a lot, and he whines a lot. I'm sure he's in pain because of his hips, I have a feeling. But then in the evening, he runs around like a puppy, like so a puppy. like his hips don't hurt him. So I'm not sure. But anyways, I brought him into the far end of the house way far away. I brought him into the into the bathroom that's that's in the daycare. You can turn that heater off. I'm pretty warm. It's cooler in the other half and then you come mm -hmm. in here and it's like, whoo, it feels hot. like it's all around my face. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I brought him into the bathroom and I put him in his little carrier in there and I shut the bathroom door and then I shut the door in between the daycare and then I shut the door in between the kitchen so that if he was going to make any noise I wouldn't hear him upstairs. But when I came down this morning he was very quiet. I took care of the chickens and then I took him out of his, well I took him out of the bathroom but I left him in his carrier. I carried the carrier all the way to where he would go when I sent him out to go potty and he just stayed in the carrier. He was either very mad at me or he just didn't feel like getting up yet. A lot of times he doesn't want to get up when I'm getting him up in the morning. Mm -hmm. I'm pulling him out of the carrier. <laughs> so I waited man. he, he is an old sleep. man. He's sleeping now. He's been sleeping all day. I actually brought down, I think it's, it's a baby, I don't know, it's a baby thing that you're supposed to put around the baby so that when the baby Sit, is learning to sit up, they don't fall over, and when they do fall over, they're falling on a cushion. Well, that's what he's sleeping around in. I did have a dog bed for him, but he's destroyed it from all of his scratching, and so I got rid of that. I haven't bought another dog bed because they're very expensive. I don't know if you've checked out dog beds lately, but they're awful expensive, and I have to find something that his nails are not going to ruined because he likes to do a lot of scratching before he lays down. He twirls a thousand times, scratches a thousand times, and cries as he's doing it, whimpers. Then he will finally settle when he settles. He's settled for a long time. Mm -hmm. I really don't like the fact that he's so old. I, every morning I, when I go to get him out of his cage, I often wonder, is he going to be alive today? Mm -hmm. Or will this be another day of sadness or what and I keep thinking he's never going to tolerate that rabies shot that he has to get in the summer he's going to have to get one whether he's fit or not they're going to make him get the shot he really hasn't been wanting to eat a lot either like a lot of dogs they love their treats he used to like his treats he doesn't care about his food he doesn't care about his treats I give him meat sometimes he'll look at it sniff at it and I don't know, maybe he can't smell either. I know he can't hear because the thunderstorms don't bother him anymore and the rainstorms, they used to bother him terrible. He used to run around and bark at everything that was making a lot of noise. And when the firecrackers would go off. And the doorbells. And the doorbells used to make him go crazy. But no nothing more. makes him go crazy anymore. In fact, I, he can't hear anything. So it's a good thing he knows sign language because that's how I have taught him. I've taught him with voice and sign so he knows both I got actually I got six six eggs today which I was surprised the weather is a was not the best outside it was snowing and Jim cleaned off their deck and a couple of them came out on the deck area but they didn't go off into the grass and he changed the water because with the winter time they seem to drink a lot more water in the chicken house whereas when it when they can get out and about they don't drink as much in there because I have other containers that I fill and they drink out of those along with the one that's in the chicken house. Why is it that there are so few eggs anymore? Oh, that's a joke that he told me. One earlier. of the guys at work told me this. Yeah. Why is it that there's not many eggs anymore? It's not because they knocked off a bunch of hens. Well, it's not because of anything but the hens decided they want to identify as roosters. Oh, grand. That's like my, <laughs> that's like my granddaughter that wants to identify the, as, I don't know, The younger them, generation. They're a them, they. And it makes it really difficult. 
Well, have a great night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>